Hi everyone, welcome to Algorithmish. Today we are going to solve uh, one more hard problem from the sliding window section. So without any further delay, let's get started with the problem. So what does the problem say? Given a string with lowercase letters, if you are allowed to replace no more than k letters with any letter, find the length of the longest substring having same letters after replacement. Okay, the problem is uh, quite tricky and the question is uh, a big let us break down in in steps so that we can solve first what it says uh, we are given only lowercase letters fine then we are allowed to replace no more than k letters okay so within the lowercase letters or within that string we can replace only uh, k or at most k letters that is there is no need to replace only k we can replace less than k but at most k letters we can replace so we have to find the length of longest substring having same letter so after replacement whatever substring we get or even without no replacement whatever substring we get it must have same letters only okay fine so let's see with an example what they mean so suppose this is the string that is double a b double c double b and we can replace only two letters here so suppose if i replace uh, the letters here the, these two c if i replace suppose this is my substring and in this substring if i replace the two letters that is the two c's with two b's so whatever substring I get that is B, 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 or that is of 5B, that will be my longest substring, right? Uh, again, uh, if I can find anything else, any then smaller substring or any bigger substring, no. So this is it. So means like this is my string and in this, if I suppose this is my substring and in this substring, if I replace the two C's here, I can get uh, the longest repeating substring of 5B's. Again, this one here. Suppose uh, this is my string A, double B, C, B. And suppose this is my substring here and if I replace this 1c with 1b I can get a substring of length 4 and this will be my longest substring possible with the given conditions again here suppose this is my string a b double c d e and they are allowed only for k equal to 1 okay so uh, if I replace this b with c so I can get a substring of length 3 uh, which is my longest or if I replace this D with a C, again I can get a substring of length 3 which will be longest. So here they have asked only for the length. So we don't need to care for the uniqueness of the substring. Only what is the maximum possible substring uh, we can make uh, that we'll see. So uh, this is what. Uh, so so this is uh, what the example, example tell us to find. I hope you have got the intuition. I hope you have got the intuition of what we actually meant uh, to with the question that is we have given some string and from that we can replace only at most k characters and by doing so if we get some substring we have to find the longest substring which has all characters same. So let's see what observations we can have uh, if you have any observations uh, you can match with mine. So first thing is we, they have asked us about substrings right or you can say contiguous lists. So sliding window approach can be used as yes, far now up till now after watching these many videos it must have been clear whenever the things like substrings the contiguous length or the maximum contiguous uh, string something like that is asked which is continuous and substrings like that so you can use the sliding window protocol also then they have not asked for fixed length right we need the longest hence uh, the size of window is unknown so we can have to go for the dynamic window approach right and also as usual we can have a hash map to keep count of our character frequencies so till now you must have understood the pattern like for most of the problems related to sliding window we have either fixed window or dynamic window and also we have a hash map or we don't have a hash map right now one thing which is unique in this problem is how we can keep the track of the replacements so for that what we shall do is it's very simple we will keep uh, the count of the maximum occurring character uh, uh, that is or you can say maximum occurring character within the window we don't care which character it is we'll just keep the count that is there is some character with uh, which is having the count of x which is maximum within that window right and if we are going to subtract from the window size we will get the possibilities which can be replaced right uh, i will show you with an example what i actually mean to say suppose my current window has the has this string that is double a b a now my maximum occurrence will be three because in this window uh, the, the maximum occurring character is a which is occurring three times and my window size is four right so uh, what possibly uh, what uh, which are the possible characters i can replace or how many possibilities are there for me to replace is only one because that is b right so here i am not considering the uniqueness of the character i am not worried about which character is actually present here 
but i am i can just worry about a count that is in this window of uh, length l there is some character x which is occurring three times uh, and so there is and the window size is four so there is at most one character which i can replace now if they and if for this case uh, if they are given like k is equal to 2 so i can easily replace this one character and i can get my answer right uh, so and again next thing is uh, this the same condition can be used to generate new windows right so whenever uh, the maximum possibilities will go uh, like uh, beyond k suppose if i say my my window is this b b b suppose i can say something like this and my maximum occurrence is here hmm, my maximum occurrence is 3 and my window size is uh, 6 right here my window size is 6 now uh, then my this answer will become that is 6 minus 3 is equal to 3 so they so either i can change these three a's or i can change these three b's right but the fact is uh, i have uh, i have been allowed to change only uh, suppose if i they say k is equal to 2 so i have been allowed to change only two characters so and possible replacements are three so my condition fails here so i need to start shrinking my windows right so this is another thing you can see so i'll write the pattern in short first is you identify the sliding window sli uh, sliding window it is either static or dynamic also the next thing is you have hash maps here hash map either it will be present uh, or it won't be present and third one is uh, if if there is sliding window there should must be a shrinking condition a shrinking condition right uh, so uh, the, with, with that shrinking condition you can generate with that condition uh, with that condition you can generate new windows generate new windows right so i hope these observations are clear it is not the solution but it's just an observation so which we can get by looking at the problem that is First, the sliding window protocol must be used. Second one must be like the window size is dynamic. Third is you can use the hash maps. And the fourth one is to keep count of the occurrences or re replacements. You can subtract from the window size the maximum occurring characters. Now, how these things can be used? And the same condition can be used to generate new windows. So, let's see with the visualization how the algorithm proceeds, right? See, so this is my string here. That is A, A, B, A, B, B, A. And my K is 2. That is, I can replace at most K characters in the substring. My hash map here is A, B, uh, initially it is uh, initialized to 0 and 0. I and J is my current, uh, the bounds of I and J denote my current window. That is, I denote the start and J denotes the end. And here I am having the maximum character occurrence. That is, as I said, which will be used to uh, determine the probable uh, replacements. So, how we can get that maximum occurring character? That will be my maximum of uh, this maximum occurring character and my hash of the current element, right? And my window size as usual will be end minus start plus one or j minus i plus one. And the condition for shrinking will be like if my window size minus the maximum occurrence will be uh, greater than k, then I shall start shrinking. Else, if it is less than or equal to k, I will keep on moving. And my maximum length will be the maximum length and the window size, right? So initially, everything is initialized to zero. Now, let's uh, see how our uh, algorithm proceeds. Now, at first, I add my uh, first character to the hash map. So my count of A will become 1 and uh, um, my count of A will become 1 and, and my maximum occurrence here it will become 1 right and my window size will also become 1 because 0 minus 0 plus 1 is 1 and the condition here evaluates to true so no need to shrink and my maximum length will be 1 right now after this I shall move my J to the next character here again my, my hash map will get incremented to 2 my maximum occurrence will increment to 2 because hash of the current element is 2 my window size will also become 2 and since the this uh, condition is uh, still satisfied i will go on for the max length that will be 2 now i shall move on to the next character that is b so here my character here it will be j uh, now i shall increment my hash map for the corresponding character that will be here 1 my hash of my maximum character occurrence still it, it won't change because the hash of the current element is 1 but my maximum occurrence so now is 2 so 2 uh, max of 2 and 1 is still 2 so I won't change this but my window size here it will become 3 now my condition check that is 3 minus 2 it is 1 that is less than 2 so still I am within the uh, condition and my maximum length so far is 3 even you can see here that see suppose if this is my only string and they have given my k equal to 2 so I can replace uh, just uh, uh, this one character here uh, right so i can just replace one character here and i'll get a, a substring of length 3 so till now i'm going right you can even check that 
now i shall move uh, to the next character uh, i shall increment my hash map again now my uh, this maximum occurrence will also increase uh, so my maximum occurrence will also increase here and my window size will become 4 right now i will check 4 minus 3 is 1 still the condition has not failed also my uh, this maximum length will become 4 right uh, because see for this substring there you can replace only one character so that you will get a substring of size 4 now i shall move to the next character that is b here and uh, uh, my occurrence uh, my hash map will get also updated my count of b will become 2 but my maximum character count won't change uh, because a has the higher order here now my window size here it will become 5 now you can see 5 minus 3 is equal to 2 since uh, still the condition has not failed also my window size will become 5 or my maximum length will also become 5 as you can see here if this is my substring from i to j i can replace the, the b at index number 2 and index number 4 to make all a's and in that way my count of uh, i'll get a substring of length 5 that, that will be my longest right now uh, after this now things get interesting now i move to the next character j and i shall increase my hash map to 3 now also my maximum character count doesn't change as a is also 3 and b is also 3 but my window size becomes 6 right now here you can see my condition here here will fail as 6 minus 3 is 3 uh, so i shall start shrinking my windows even you can see here uh, see this is my substring here and i can replace only two characters here either this b or this b but in any case uh, the substring won't be of all the same character right so i shall st uh, start shrinking my windows so uh, as usual the shrinking process is i shall move my window to the next character here and my hash map will become uh, a will get updated to 2 so again maximum occurrence won't change but my window size will reduce to 5 now 5 minus 3 is 2 again if the condition is satisfied so i will stop shrinking and also i will see here that uh, this here also i shall see here uh, this uh, now what I was going to say, huh? yes, now my max length, it will be 5. I will update my max length only when the condition are within the bounds, right? So he, previously, even when the window size was 6, I didn't update the max length as it was not, not following the condition. Now, if I can see even this is, uh, this is one of the possible substrings here. I can replace A at index 1 and index 3 with B to form the, uh, um, to form the substring of length 5. Now again, uh, I shall move my J to the next one here, J. Now again, my character count will become 3 for A and my maximum character count won't change here and my window size will become 6 here. Again, my condition will uh, will fail. So I shall start shrinking here. Now because I shall start shrinking, I shall, I shall move my sliding window and my A will become 2. And uh, I, now my max length won't change till now because the condition was false. Now since uh, now I shall go to the next iteration here my maximum character count here is 3 but my window size is 5 now again you can see here for this uh, for this substring b a double b a i can just replace uh, this a and this a but still my maximum substring possible will be 5 and so finally my answer will be 5 because now j cannot move any further uh, so here we end the algorithm so you can see we have found actually three possible substrings but all are of the same length 5 no one exceeds the another so our answer here it will be 5 right so here our answer uh, wait uh, so here our answer will be so here our answer will be five yes so i hope you got the uh, this uh, flow of the algorithm first what you have to do is you have to go on adding the elements into the window and keep uh, track of the maximum occurring character at the same time, uh, then you should check the condition that the window that the possibilities of replacement won't exceed k. If they're exceeding k, then you must shrink the window, and afterwards you must have find the maximum length. So uh, now, since you understood the algorithm and uh, the flow of algorithm and uh, what we have to do to solve this problem, I want you to go to this link on the lead code and try and solve this problem. I shall put this link in the description. Uh, you try to solve this problem. Uh, if not, then you uh, read the discussion post. If not, you can watch the video again. And after that, I want you to come and watch the solution. Now I shall move to the solution. Now here's the solution. I hope uh, you must have solved the problem. Now let's look here. Now for this problem, I have solved it in a different way. In previous videos, you must have seen I use a dictionary. But there might be the case that the interviewer might say that you have to use just uh, this simple array. So even with that, you can solve this problem. There is nothing different here. 
so what i have done is uh, i have kept my start maximum length and maximum count initialized to zero because those are the variables uh, that will hmm, initialize that is start will denote the start of the window maximum length will be our answer and maximum count will give the maximum occurrences within the window right now this is my window here of uh, since that 26 characters i have initialized everything with zero now i shall iterate over the string here first i shall get the index of this that is the this pretty usual way uh, by subtracting the character uh, this ascii values and i shall increment for that index with one right now i shall get count of my maximum count as we done in the previous uh, slide that is maximum count and the current hash element so and if the condition fails that is the end minus start plus one this is nothing but the window size and the maximum count if that goes beyond k so i shall iterate i shall reduce the window size until this condition becomes false right and at the same time uh, while shrinking the window i shall uh, re reduce the count from the uh, window and i shall increment my uh, start to the next window and finally i shall uh, check the max length which is my max and window size right and finally i shall return the max length so guys this was it uh, for this uh, problem and uh, with this i believe we have completed the sliding window protocol or uh, sliding window approach now what i shall do is in the next video i shall uh, put up a google doc where you can where i shall put some practice problems and its link also i shall put some solutions so after solving these uh, five problems and the uh, three four problems from the doc i hope that you will be at least 80 percent clear uh, by, for identifying the sliding window approach and also solving the problems re uh, related to it so that's it for this i hope you guys like the video do like share and subscribe also share the channel uh, and so more new videos are coming soon thank you